And what's up, everybody? I'm back with another movie review. And this is of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, the second in the Ape trilogy. Um, released in, I want to say, 2014? I don't remember exactly, but the correct date it was released will be, the correct year it was released will be in the uh, title of the video. So, uh, whatever I say here really doesn't matter unless it's correct. Uh, yeah, this was the second movie uh, taking place a little while after the first movie. Um, and we do get... One thing I didn't mention at the end of the of the movie, the last movie review, because I was going to save it for here, is the, how the credits, when the end credits of the first movie and the credits for this movie, at the start, like the opening credits for this movie, how they illustrate, like they segue and work in with each other about how the disease spreads. We didn't talk about it much in the last review, but it's not. I didn't really talk about the disease. It's it is it, it's hinted and elaborate. It's not really elaborated on. However, it is though in this movie. There's a whole montage at the beginning of the of the movie about it and how it's uh, it's spread and everything like that. And it, it's a nice segue because we do see it at the very very end of the in the end credit scenes of the first movie and it carries over here. I think that's really cool. Um. But it's also a little scary because that's pretty much like the precursor to COVID and outside of, you know, the world stayed relatively intact to what this movie portrayed. But it was still like COVID and just spread everywhere. It's a little scary how many times people predicted this would happen. Um, anyway, um, moving on. They do a lot more. So I, didn't, I also didn't talk about this in the first movie review, but um, with the sign language, the communications between the apes, because the one ape can not can understand language better, but he can also he he doesn't he could say no he like starts to talk near the end of the movie, um, and then but then he can do it a little bit better in this movie and other apes are starting to learn how to talk to but like he still uses sign language with the subtitles you didn't really have to watch out for that too much in the last movie but it's a very very much uh a thing here in this movie in fact they're outside of the opening montage once we start focusing on the apes there really isn't any like real talking like voice talking uh, until the humans show up, which is that, and we get this whole sequence with them hunting, and then we get to see their civilization and stuff like that. So, uh, you get a while to go through that. Um, but that is, and I like that. Um, it definitely makes you pay more attention, it adds a little bit more attention to the movie as well, with uh, very little sound to drown yourself in. So, it, that's pretty cool, too. Um, like I said in the last movie review, the animal animations are a little weird. You could tell it less with the monkeys here and more some of the other animals, like when they hunt that, I think it's an elk uh, or a deer or whatnot. Uh, it's just weird, okay? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it's just weird, okay? Yeah, so... Well, thankfully, it's really only a problem at the beginning of the movie. Like, it's not really something rise my chair back up here it's not really something that you are going to it's not really gonna be something that's majorly noticeable my complaints about it are kind of the same as the last movie review a little jank but you're not it's not really gonna be noticeable you're you're not really gonna care that's just kind of what you're saying um one thing that was a little annoying for me is they really didn't uh met none of the characters at all from the first movie like they used a whole new set of characters for this movie um and it was just like why um i don't understand really why they did that now it can easily be explained that the other ones died like those characters they had they either evacuated and are and they were killed in like combat or by the disease or by the monkeys they were killed in some way i mean that's not really deliberately said the only reference that we get to any characters from the last movie outside of the main monkey which i still can't figure out his name i don't know why it's only been a few days since i saw this movie but um 
Caesar. Caesar. That's his name. Caesar. Uh, so we the only you know, he's the only character that comes back from the last movie. Um, the only reference we get is when they go to the house. Um, when Caesar's getting healed, they go back to the house and he sees the picture and even gets the video. It's referenced there, but really no nothing else. No mention of the girl, no mention of any of the other scientists, no mention of the kid. Uh, actually, there wasn't a kid. I don't know what I was thinking there, but uh, no mention of really anything else. So, it was a little disappointing, and I don't really understand why. I understand kind of why they did that. But it's like, also, um, and I will mention this in the... Uh, third movie review like i said about why i think they're actually i came up with a reason why they're doing that uh it's probably true my, my theory on it but i'll mention it in the next one uh why they're doing that but it's a little annoying to me um we go back to the redwoods here and, and with the golden gate bridge and, and whatnot um and humanity is really taking a massive downturn here um but they get power back and, and whatnot too and the amount of hostility that there is between these characters is crazy. But, you know, being able to work each, work each other out, work, work itself out. And then we see everybody turning on each other near the end of the movie. Uh, you know, of course, like the monkeys turn on each other uh, with Koba turning on Caesar. And, and then... Um, you know, the humans, you know, the one human guy wants to help the, the apes. And then the other guy just detonates the whole thing with C4. Uh, did not work, by the way. Uh, totally impractical that the dude just literally loaded the whole bottom of this tower with C4. Let her rip, and the thing stayed complete, almost completely intact. Like, that is insane. Uh, but, you know, Cool. Makes total sense, uh, but yeah, that was just something I, I, I noticed. But overall, this movie, I, I like this movie too. Um, it had some pretty epic stuff near the end when, like, when uh, Caesar throws Koba in as well. I forgot about that part, but um, but yeah, I like this movie overall as well. Um, I thought it was a good sequel because of how it segues. Um, just the only thing that really got the only thing that I really didn't like was the the completely new characters. That's the only thing I really didn't like. But everything else, I thought was pretty good too. So my final score for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I'm gonna have to give it a uh, another eight out of ten. That's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna give another eight out of ten. So another solid movie. That was really good. So if you've ever seen this movie though, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comments section down below um also they tamed horses i almost forgot to mention that okay this is, that's a little weird they did in the first movie they did in this one so cool anyways like i said that's gonna do it for this movie review and that's gonna do it for this video stay tuned for much more amazing content and until next time i will see you guys later goodbye okay,